channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave's Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. My starting debt is $208,453.27. I currently work part time earning anywhere between $800 and $1,000 and I am on baby step number one to save $500. In today's video, I am going to be going over a detailed budget check in for my February 2018 budget. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. So the first thing that I want to do is pull up a calculator so that we can have that for our numbers. And then I want to talk a little bit about um, the things that have impacted my budget so far. So the number one thing that's having the biggest impact on my budget is income. And so I started a journal entry page here and I just want to jot down my income to date. So as mentioned in the original budget video, um, my first paycheck um plus some money that I'm counting as income was $689. And let's get that change, I believe 86 cents. Yes, and 86 cents. On the 7th of February, I also received a payment from my YouTube channel for $327 and 21 cents. And then on the 8th of February, I also received a generous donation of $100. And I received that donation from DME Brown on YouTube. And I just wanted to publicly thank you for that very generous donation. Um, his or her comment was, hi Stacy, I enjoy your budgeting videos very much. Can you list your PayPal me link in the description below your video for anyone who would like to contribute to your financial freedom journey? You're such a positive attitude to your current financial situation. I would like to help with the small boost. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you supporting my work. Um, I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you commenting. And then also to the community that helped me to earn $327.21. It was all of you all collectively um that made that happen so i deeply deeply appreciate that because it certainly has helped because i am on the 15th of this month and my total earnings so far for february 689.86 plus 327.21 plus 100 um is 111 1000 excuse me 100 1117 dollars and seven cents so that is the amount of income that i am working with so far and we still have 15 days left in this month so i'm super excited about where the month of february is going so now what i want to do is go down my budget and show you exactly what i've paid so far and where um, these dollars and cents have been going um Based on my original budget that I did at the beginning of the month, and I will link that video so you can see, my tides were $80 based on my take home pay for my part time job. This number will increase because I would like, I am going to pay tides off of the 327.21 earnings. Um, and when I pay tithes off that, that will be an additional $32. But neither of these payments have come out yet because of the, the place where I allocated my tithe payment. Um, the big expense that has come out for the month of February so far has been the $525 for my rent. I've also paid the $35.82 for my phone bill. And I paid the $100 towards my um, CTA pass. I have also paid the my groceries, which I had a budget of $35. And I want to see how much I actually spent for my food budget. And the pages that you see me flipping through, those are my allocated spending pages. But the reason why I'm looking at my cash flow is because it has a budgeted amount and a spent amount and I wanted to write it on this page. So 35.11 I've spent of my grocery budget, which means I'm 11 cents over my grocery budget, but still doing 
pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that number. Based on my original cash flow plan, I paid my rent, I paid my cell phone bill, I paid transportation, and I paid a little bit of groceries. And so now I want to get into where I anticipate spending the 320 or how I plan on spending the 327 that I've earned from um, Google AdSense and the $100 donation so if you're looking at my allocated spending page you can see that in my next pay period that's when i intend to pay my tithes and i just in this third category i created a category for the payment of 327.21 and so what i have um coming out initially is the 32 dollars and 70 cents and then this payment here there's not a line for taxes but i wanted to make sure that i paid my taxes on the income that i have coming in because i will be taxed and taxes are currently past due taxes are currently in my um, debt snowball so i don't want to fall behind in my 2018 taxes so after i take out my tithes and after i take out my 30 percent tax what I have left over to spend is $196.14. And today I'm actually going to make that payment onto my rent. Because if you remember in my previous budget video, I learned that I am not current on my rent. I'm actually always paying my rent during the month that I'm renting. And that is not the concept of being current. And I want to be current. So one of my primary goals was to do that. And with this extra 196.14, plus the money that I anticipate putting when I get paid tomorrow onto my rent, I will be much closer to my goal. So let's see actually a little number. So 525 minus 225 minus 196.14. That would mean that I'm $100 and 86 cents away from my um, total rent payment. And I'm very excited about that because that, I mean, that really just allows me to be able to get in front of and as uh, commenter survivor fan 32, get out of the red. So I anticipate putting the entire 196.14 towards my rent payment. The $100 um, generous donation that I received from D.M. Brown, the way that that is um, um, allocated is I don't have anything for that $100 coming out. And my knee-jerk reaction was to just put that $100 towards my rent and then I would only be $6.86 over. But the reality of my situation um, was that so that money was automatically paid through my PayPal account and what I didn't know is that I had expenses coming through my PayPal account because again I'm trying to one I'm trying to have all of my expenses come from one place so I'm very clear on how much money is going out um, but two I just didn't realize the expenses that I had so almost as soon as that money hit my PayPal account payments were going out that I was just not expecting. So I'm going to clear that up this month. And that's another reason why I'm doing the budget check in because I really now won't be overwhelmed at the end of the month trying to shift payments around to a card and blah, blah, blah. I'll be able to put it exactly where it is. So what actually came out of the $100 that I received as a donation so far is $15 um, automatically was withdrawn for my PayPal bill. And I'm just going to check to see if I didn't know that I was on automatic debit um, there because I always call in to make the payment, but maybe it's automatic. Maybe it's set up automatic debit if I have a balance in my PayPal account. I don't know, but I'm going to follow up with that. Um, my podcasting fee was something that I forgot to consider in my earnest to get out of the red in February when I was talking about my budget. So that $15 definitely came out. And it's interesting because Survivor Fan 32 was watching um, the video and she was the one who pointed out that I forgot that particular uh, payment. And then two other expenses that really blew me away were... Um, and, and well, one didn't blow me away because Survivor Fan pointed it out. She pointed out that I forgot to include my son's podcasting or not podcasting, my son's iTunes subscription. So that 1096 came out. But I noticed that another 1096 came out and I was like livid because I'm like, I don't if I didn't have this money, what were you guys going to do? And the truth of the matter is, is I realized is that when the money is not in my PayPal account, these items just get declined. And I think in, I think I was mistaking these subscriptions for being off because the payments just weren't going through. 
So um, I definitely thought that there was only one subscription for the iTunes, but clearly there was two. So I am, I tried to dispute this charge, but it, I couldn't, Apple was like not having it. And they were like, we can do this for next month. So I was like, all right, fine. So next month that will be taken off. Um, so unfortunately of the hundred, or fortunately, cause I'm grateful, but of the hundred dollars that was donated, uh, 15 minus 15 minus 1069, oops. $100 minus 15 minus 15 minus 10.69 minus 10.69. There's $48.62 left over, of which I'm going to put towards my rent. Um, and and it, it so yeah, so that's that's where the budget is right now. So that $48.62 I'm going to put towards my rent, leaving my overall leftover rent that I need to cover as $57.38. So I wanted to do a budget check-in because I want you guys to be able to sooner see the difference between what I'm planning and how things are actually happening. But I also want you guys to be able to see how I'm able to reconcile things. Um, and when I say reconcile, I mean that like I'm still struggling a little bit with forgetting things that are coming out in my earnest to get things right. Um, I, I'm still of the mind that certain subscriptions are cut off when they are clearly active. And so just different things like that. But it is definitely getting better and it is getting better with your help in this community, both monetarily because DM Brown was very generous, um, but also just from a community perspective of commenting and watching. And so I just wanna say, I deeply appreciate your support. Um, I am well on my way. I am less than $50 away from getting out of the red. And I am super excited and super just humbled by the support and I'm just I'm just so grateful that you guys are supporting this journey and um, I hope that while you are watching this that you are beginning to transform your financial blueprint so that when it comes that time it'll be more than just one of us screaming I'm debt free. Um, so yeah, that is it, my midweek check-in. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. I will do my budget report card on about February 27th, February 28th, and that's where you will get all the final numbers to see exactly where every dime went. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to talking to you very soon. Bye. <laughs>